let's get into your reading peek at your person your person's overall energy starting off with new beginnings ace of pentacles and ace of swords i feel like this person really wants something new a fresh start perhaps they do have a choice or a big decision to make and they are trying to use their spiritual strength trying to tap into their intuition the universe for signs synchronicities to try and make this decision i do have them also facing obstacles and challenges and suffering in silence feeling discontent and bored perhaps um so whether this is a choice about you coming towards you going away from you i don't know yet let's dig in and see what is going on current energy current situation slow trying to be planned and methodical they're trying to move towards you it looks like I do have Virgo energy and Aries energy. Um, I feel like they're trying to be planned, methodical, but they're moving very slow or trying to be very cautious with their decision. I do feel like there could be arguments, disputes, or some drama going on. Too many people involved. What else? And yeah, they're trying to pick a path to move forward. We'll keep digging in. We'll keep digging in. Uh, they could have been seeming like they were rushing in, rushing out, or actions not matching their words, very like impulsive, and then now feeling abandoned, left out in the cold, left hanging. There is chemistry here. There could be an age difference, but I feel like there's chemistry, attraction, passion, desire, wanting to reignite this flame. So did you and this person have a thing going on? They were with somebody else or somebody else got involved or in between this connection and now it's like on a break and they're trying to figure out what to do what's happening here the world you could live at a distance or there could be a moment yes somebody is not single somebody's not single waiting so living at a distance possibly, or they're trying to close out a chapter to start a new chapter. I don't think this person is fully single right now. They are very discontent and bored. Yes, they're not happy with where they're at right now. So what's blocking this connection? What's interfering? Somebody can't take a leap of faith. Keep in mind, this energy can be reversed. So when I say your person, it could actually be your energy. So feel free to flip flop and reverse the energies here. All right. So what's blocking or interfering this connection? This person can't choose a path right now. They want to, but they're it's like a stalemate, stagnant energy stuck. This person's stuck, possibly in a commitment. House, home, commitment, joined assets. They're not seeing things clearly here. They want to move fast, but they can't. They're moving slow. They're trying to be planned and methodical, but I feel like they can't even come up with a plan. <laughs> so they're very wishy-washy. Back and forth, up, down, round and round. Actions definitely are not matching their words. Sadness, loss, regret, remorse. Did you pull your energy back from them? Did you say, all right, well, you've been saying this for a while and nothing has come to fruition. I can't believe you. I need to do what's best for me. So I'm, I'm not going to wait around anymore. That put this person into complete stress, anxiety, overthinking, trying to change their perspective. It's like they're trying. They're trying. But are they really trying you know, it's like their their concept of trying is coming up with ideas, you know, well, maybe maybe this will work or maybe that'll work, but not actually taking the action steps. How does this person feel about you? How do they feel? They want to heal. They feel like this could just be a temporary break. Again, something with the world, so distance or closing out a chapter, starting a new chapter, something coming full circle. The Empress. Okay. So they see you as an Empress, a loving, caring, nurturing. Um, could be like the birth of something new or a new beginning here. Whether you're, 
masculine and feminine doesn't matter they they see you as the empress a loving caring nurturing energy um they do see long-term happiness with you and they feel a, a strong soulmate bond with you now i see why you're like what well then <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> you know so they do feel that way genuinely it shows you know, heartache pain disappointment could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I am getting heavy earth, but it could be anybody. They definitely want to reconcile with you and heal this broken heart or disappointment. Tower. The tower. Taking a leap of faith. If you, I tell a lot of people this, if you pull your energy back, and when I say that, I mean pulling your energy back. You don't engage in conversation. You don't text them. You don't look at their social media. You go out, you live your life, you, you do you. Um, you don't respond or you just block them completely, right? So if you do stuff like that, it's absence makes the heart grow fonder right so if you do that they're going to be like i need to talk i need i need this i need this so kind of lights a fire under their butt for the most part sometimes not 100 percent all the time but 30 day no contact rule you know that kind of a thing um they want to offer you a stable new beginning they want victory and success but if you did cut them off and you're taking a leap of faith or you're getting getting attention in a different direction from other people and they're seeing that or hearing about it, it, it is. It's making them really want you back. But if they if you come back to them, are they gonna do what they say they're gonna do? So what are their action steps? What are their intentions? Drama, arguments, disputes. <laughs> Are they going to start a fight with the person they're with? A little manipulative there. Um, they could be fighting or try to fight with you over you getting attention from other people. <laughs> Ending for a new beginning or some kind of transformation. So what else? Changing their perspective. Wanting to rebuild or be on the same page. Oh, look, see how the tables have turned. Now they want to rebuild and take that leap of faith. This is too many. I'm going to put them back. But you are you are involved here. You walked away. You said, nope, I'm done. No, thank you. You're only giving me a page of cups. I want a full cup. <laughs> You're messaging me sweet nothings. You, you know what I mean? You're saying this, but this is this is what I'm doing. I'm hurt. I'm disappointed. I'm walking away. And some of you are blocking them. All right, so what, what are they going to do, though? So what are they going to do? Breadcrumbing. Come on. So water sign involved. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Communication. See the two of cups. The wheel. Page again those came out I put them back came back out again there could be an age difference or this is this was more of a like texting type of relationship especially if you live at a distance okay yeah all right so come to shock you all they were giving you was this page remember I just just said that look what came out ace of cups the full cup, right? A overflowing cup. Um, I feel like they may change their tune. At first, it might come across as breadcrumbing, or you might breadcrumb them. Um, I you might get what you want out of this. You might, if you still want it. I know people are going to say, I don't want it. I'll never take anybody back. I, I know I get it. Um, but some of you do. Some of you want this. And I feel like if you do want this, you may have the opportunity to have that. Um, so let's see, what's the potential outcome? Uh, putting in work and effort, that could be on yourself. Oh, no, there, no. Oh, oh, oh. You're not going to ignore them. <laughs> you do feel stuck. You're still going to feel stuck. 
especially if this, yeah, you, you need that clarity. You need to have the truth and the clarity here. So that could be the breadcrumbing thing. You might hear this person out, see what they have to say. Ace of Cups. <laughs> it's a general reading, you guys. If you don't want to take this person back, you don't have to. You don't have to. Um, there will be some text messaging or messenger type communication going on first between the two of you. You may even drive to meet up or take a ride together and talk. I have the star healing. You're going to hear them now, but you know what? <laughs> you may not give this person a new beginning. You may not. They may try to offer it to you, but I feel like you call BS on them. Because there is some kind of breadcrumbing involved. You, you do hear them out. You give them a chance to talk. You go for a ride, whatever. Whatever it is. You text, you talk, whatever. You hear them out, you hold back. I have reconciliation in reverse. So I feel like you choose at that time to let it go. Let this person go and move on. Yeah, because they, they can't level up right now anyway. Not right now anyway. It's like they try or they, they, they want to or they come up with these plans. You know, give me six months or kids are involved or assets are involved, money's involved, whatever it is that's involved. And they, they're dragging their feet and you don't deserve that. So uh, what are the obstacles you have to overcome? There could have been a lesson here um, in this connection. Trust. Obstacle. Biggest obstacle. Trust. Following. Um... Your intuition, following signs, synchronicities, spending time alone or being by yourself to get these messages from the universe, your intuition, exhaustion. Yeah, you're probably tired, probably tired, and we have projections. So this person could have been also, which could have been the fighting and arguing, projecting. Well, I can't leave this because you. I can't do this because you. If I leave my situation, I don't have anywhere to live because you won't let me live with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? There could be some I can't because you uh, projecting going on. It could be astral projecting too. You could be connected in the 5D and through dreams and things like that if you're not in contact. Um, but I feel like it could be more of a blame game type thing going on. All right, let's get some other messages about this energy here. Oh, spiritual awakening. Breakup. Okay, so this could be about you. Enlightenment, epiphany, life lessons, rebirth, breakup, walking away, ending, separation, it's over, heartbreak, hurt, betrayal, grief, disappointment. Again, I see that in your energy. You know, it's probably a hard decision to make, but it's like it has to be made, you know. Uh, magnetic because it's a strong, strong, strong connection. Magnetic attraction, alluring, lust, irresistible, flirting, addiction. It could even have become kind of like an addiction, addicted to this person or them, you, or, or whatever. Um, toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession that could have been involved and ghosted, disappear, silence, ignored, rejected. All right, and then we have, what does this person want to say to you? Let me take this one. Deception. Someone is wearing a mask in this relationship. So again, actions not matching their words. This isn't what they want to say to you. This is just more messages. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Uh, they are the one, though. You have already met the romantic partner you seek. So that's why you feel past lives. That's why this is so hard. You are enough. 
The person you are meant to be with will love you the way you are. You don't need to change. Boundaries. You need to teach people how to treat you by being clear on what you will or will not allow. Take your power back. Take your power back. All right, what does this person want to say to you? If they could right now, what would this person want to say to you? Focused on money. I, I had a feeling back at the beginning, something with finances. Um, I'm currently focusing on my career and finances. My main priority is financial stability. Tears. When I think about you, I cry. Playing games. Yeah, this is a game to me. The way I'm acting, responding, or posting, it's to get your attention. You're so smart. Your intellect really turns me on. You're so smart, and I really enjoy our conversations. Something to say. There's something I really want to share with you. I'm waiting for the right time to tell you, and not the right time. I'm overwhelmed with responsibilities. I don't have time or energy for this relationship. My dreams. I've been dreaming about you in my dreams. We are so free and in love. Wish I could stay there forever, and I'm sorry. I hate how much I've hurt you. I'm sorry for all the pain I've caused. You didn't deserve any of it. No, you didn't. All right, let's get some um, numbers. Oh, I didn't tell you at the beginning. Angel numbers, 9911. All right, numbers. Could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, an angel number, and age. We have 10, 10, 7, 11, 1. So 1, 7, 10, 10, 11. Um, so it could be the 17th, 71, uh, January, July, October, November. Could be an age. I don't know. Not really age numbers, but all right. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with strong placements in their chart or something that happened during that season. We have Sagittarius, Scorpio, Virgo, and Capricorn. It could be any sign, you guys. It is a general reading. All right, letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initial, could spell a name, could spell a word of significance, place it where you see fit. We have F-T-Y-E-K-U-A-W-X. I'm also seeing C-Q-N-G. So F-T-Y-E-X-K-W-A-U. And what was the other one? G-C-Q. So those are what I have for the letters. Place it where you sit, uh, see fit, don't force anything.